guys and welcome to this brand new video. So in today's video, we're going to check out a fun limited time race. We're also going to talk about Happy Horse Week, which I'm really excited about. Star Stable also has done some things to smaller things in the game. I'm going to talk about those, but I won't go in detail too much. And obviously, we're also going to talk about a new Star Rider code that Star Stable has brought out, the teaser for next week, and also the new item in the bonus shop. And I think that's basically it. So yeah, if you're just excited as as I am to get straight into this video, then keep on watching and let's just jump straight into it. So you probably noticed that I'm back on my main account and that is because Star Stable was so nice to fix the FPS lag for me. I'm not sure if anyone else is still having the problem, but after today's update, my issues are basically gone and I hope they are for you as well. If you're still struggling with FPS lag, I really recommend reaching out to the SSO team because they will help you with eventually. So let's get started with the fun limited time race, which is like the main thing in today's update. Right here at Moreland Stables, we have Linda Chanda, I believe is her full name, who has a quest for us and it goes as follows. Are you interested in show jumping? I was too fast with clicking y'all. I'm so sorry. That was my bad. But yes, I certainly am interested in show jumping. I actually had a jumping lesson yesterday in real life and it went so well. So I'm really hyped right now, you know? Meteor and I, which is the horse right next to her, her soul horse, compete in show jumping competitions around Jorvik as often as we can. It's a great way to build confidence and push your skills as a rider and I totally agree because if you're not confident over a jump, if your horse is not like a professional show jumping horse that will always jump, it will refuse when it notices that you're insecure about the jump. I had it happen to me five times yesterday because I was insecure and my horse felt that and I struggle with that a lot, but I'm working on it. So I just wanted to, you know, put this side note in. If you'd like to try out show jumping for yourself, I helped set it up a course that adheres to regulations for the sport. Even though we won't be judging you, this will give you a good idea what it's like to compete professionally. There's a few mistakes in this dialogue, so I'm not sure if that's you know, intentionally, but there's a few mistakes. Enjoy the exhibition. If you weren't already pursuing show jumping as a focus, maybe this will ignite a new passion. Well, I already was, and it's been my passion for two years now, I think. This race will give you 25 Jorvik shillings and 125 horse XP. I think only the first time you do it, you will get the 10 player XP because this is like uh, a yellow exclamation mark and not a blue one. So I think it's because this is a quest. Um, we'll see later on in this video. And you also get 20 points in reputation at Moreland Stables, but that's not really important. So we're gonna get into this race, click on yes and get started. Whoa, this looks interesting, you guys. Those are a lot of jumps. I'm gonna click on OK and get started. I'm actually riding in Halflinger, and for those of you who don't know, Halflingers generally aren't used in show jumping. They can jump, trust me, some of them can, but generally they aren't really used in show jumping. Oh, no, that was my bad. What am I doing? That was a très confusé moment. Um, I wasn't supposed to do that. This one's always like, whoa. We got thrown up in the air, you guys. Um, suddenly, I'm riding a Pegasus, I guess. I'm gonna finish up this quest and take a look if you also get the player XP when you do it again, which I doubt. Nope, as you can see right here, you don't get the player XP again the second time you do it. By the way, for these races, when they came out, the day itself, when you tried them for the first time, usually you can do them twice. So today, you can earn 250 horse XP from this race. And moving on, the days after this until November 27th, you can earn 125 horse XP each day. So you might have already noticed that I said limited at the beginning of this video and that is because this race will disappear after the update of November 27th. So don't let this last. It will be gone on November 27th. So if you want to check it out, do it before that date. And right now, as I usually do with these race videos, I am going to show you a full clip of the whole race as well just to give you like a good view on the whole race so let's just jump straight into that as well
one is a hard one, you guys. I failed it twice in a row now. It's quite a hard one, I have to say. I'm not gonna collect the XP from Linda just yet because I'm gonna take out another horse that is not level 15 yet after this video to collect the XP with that horse so it will go to that specific horse because I don't train my horses and every time a race like this comes out, I always use the XP on untrained horses kind of my way of training. So moving on to the next topic, I am back at my home stable and that is because I'm gonna explain to you what Happy Horse Week is exactly. So during Happy Horse Week, your horses will be taken care of and as you can see, my horse right now is in top condition and that is because Star Stable gave all the players eight days of free stable care, which basically they gave you 65 star coins. So I'm really Really happy about this. I never buy stable care because I just think it's expensive and I don't really race my horses anyway. Or actually, I might need to correct myself because maybe it's seven days. I'm not entirely sure, but seven days would be seven star coins less, which is 49 star coins. That's still quite a lot of star coins for Star Stables doing. Happy Horse Week doesn't only come with free stable care. They also released a brand new free Star Rider code. This brand new redeem code is called 7 Happy Days, which I'll put it on the screen right now as well so you can type it in and redeem it and it gives you seven days of free Star Rider. This code expires at 2 p.m. UST on November 19th, 2019 and can only be redeemed once by each player and applies to everyone who is not currently a Star Rider, which means if you've bought a Star Rider in the past, you can also use it, I'm pretty sure. Lately, that hasn't been the case for a lot of Star Rider codes, so I'm happy about this. It's great. Moving on, there's two minor things I need to talk to you about and one of them has to do with high scores and the other one with music and game. So the first one says all the high scores are reset around Jorvik so now you have a new chance at getting that all-time high score in your favorite races. If you previously have earned medals in races, don't worry these are not reset. So in short, the high scores have been reset. When it comes to the music update, Star Stable said we've walked around Jorvik City and made sure to fine-tune all radio stations. Now you'll be able to listen to a mix of popular Eurovision artists like Lisa Peterson, this name is impossible, this next one, the Miss Koreans? The Miss Koreans? I'm not sure. DJ Kai and the Silver Songs Train Quartet in cafes and shops. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we also have a new item in the bonus shop, which is why I'm headed back to Moreland. And the new item in the bonus store is this bow over here. This is the most beautiful dark purple color. I like it a lot. Do they have one for my bridal as well? I mean, I like the color and I want to make an outfit with it because it is really pretty but I can't seem to find one for the bridal, which is kind of sad, but it is coming soon, hopefully. So yeah, what do you guys think of this bow? It's really pretty in my opinion. I mean, this purple is everything. And you guys, there is one more thing I need to mention, and that is what is coming next week. There is literally two words under coming next week on the website, and those two words are, I quote, curlies ahoy, which basically means we're gonna get the second batch of curlies next week and I'm really excited. The curlies are so cute and I think I'm gonna like the second batch a lot. And with that being said, we have come to the end of today's video and I really hope you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it also helps me out a lot. If you want to see more videos of mine because I can promise you my channel surely is a lot of fun, then please subscribe to my channel and and also turn on your notifications so you'll never ever miss out on any videos because that has been happening lately. And yeah, I really hope I'll see you back on Saturday with a very exciting and very much requested video. And also next week for the curlies, of course. So yeah, you guys have a great week and until Saturday. Bye!